Hello guys, I'm back, it's Kramenox with episode 2 on how to make a round script. Um, I did organize my stuff, I put my maps into the maps, and then I got a linked sword and put it inside the weapons. Now, um, I, I still have the lobby inside its place and everything else is fine. Now, um, let's get started. Go ahead and navigate to your local script, which is inside your starter GUI, then screen GUI, then your text label. And then you should see logo script right there. We're going to go ahead and define the variables that we're going to use. Start with the info value. Game dot replicated storage dot info value. Hold on. Logo info equals. There you go. And then we're going to say script dot parent equals dot, no, dot text equals info dot value. So basically whatever the um the text for this same right here, the text will be whatever the info value equals. So if this equals so um, one hundred, then the text will be one hundred and so forth. And so what we're gonna do info dot change connect function C. And then we are going to do script Dot. We're gonna act, we're actually we're going to um add a weight like 0.1 so it doesn't break the game and then we're going to do script dot parents dot text equals info dot value that's all you have to do inside this local script um you could name it intermission the um the screen GUI you could name it intermission but do not text you could change the text label but then is you're going to have to name this different when you're referring to it in the um, main script. Now, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and go into the main script and define the variables from here. We're going to say local maps equals screen dot server storage dot maps. We're going to say local map storage equals game dot server no game dot workspace dot plane maps and then we're going to go ahead and define our weapons local weapons equals game dot server storage dot weapons and then and then and then we're going to also identify this text label here. Actually, you don't have to do that. Um, yeah, that's all. And then let's get a leaderboard started. So the leaderboard's right here. We're going to say game dot players dot player added connect function player. Then. We're gonna say stats local stats equals instance dot new leader stats num bool value inside the player. Then local points or whatever you want to call it wins or points. Wins will come in later in a future episode, but for the for now we're just going to say points. Dot new int value inside the stats points you could um set a value for how much points a person gets every time he joins the server but that would but then someone could easily keep on joining the server so you could get the points so so instead um we're just going to award them 100 no, 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 because if someone already has saved, um, no, since we don't have a saving, um, script yet, that will also come in a future episode, but since we don't have one yet, we're just gonna keep it like this, um, 100 points every time you join the server. So once you start this, join the server, you're gonna have to start over. Let's go back inside the server script service, and the main script, and then edit it from here. 
we're going to be starting. Now is when the round script actually comes in. Well, what should we do? And then we're going to say for i equals 15 comma 0 minus 1. So 15 is actually the intermission time is going to be in second seconds, not minutes. You can make it 30, but since we're still in testing, I'm only going to make it like 5 seconds or so. Make it 10 seconds. For i equals 10 comma 0 comma negative 1, do. We're going to say, um, oh wait, forgot to, um, define the info value. So we're going to say local info equals game dot replicated storage dot info value. Now down here we're going to say info dot value equals we're going to um i okay intermission I don't like that and then we're going to go ahead with a quotation and then dot dot i now let's see if that's going to work obviously before the while true do we're going to add a wait so it doesn't break the game could be a second or five sec uh, point five seconds. So let's see. Okay. Okay, wait. I'm gonna make it fifteen seconds again. Let's try again. See what's going on here. Intermission zero. Sorry, it crashed. Now, um, basically, I just it crashed on me, so I have to redo everything. But now that we're here, we're gonna continue off. Um, we're gonna actually add a wait before the wall can do like a two two second wait. And then we're gonna say if. I let's see. I then we're gonna say I because it was four. Then info value equals round over there we're actually testing it here and everything works fine Intermit it does the intermission and it keeps doing it over and over and over and over and over and over again hold on wait a main script and then right after here I did add this tiny part right here, so you can copy. If i equals equals zero, then wait one and for that value equals round over. After that we're gonna add a like a one second wait. There you go. This player joined. I did that because it's leaderboard because it kept crashing. I'll show you guys in that in just a second. There you go, it works. Let's go back to the leaderboard up here. What I added was these two. I'll wait right on top of the prints. So every time a player um, joins, it's going to wait a second, then it's going to say player joined. Um, we're going to do a little bit more. We're going to take out the maps. So, in, during the intermission, we're going to erase this part, the round over part. Clip right here, this one. Just erase that one. And then we're going to move down here. We're going to say, so we don't have one map. Basically, so we're going to say, Maps dot green <coughs> parent equals 
playing um maps. Well, wait, I forgot to. Oh yeah, map storage right there. And then we're gonna do a round time right here. So we're gonna say four i equals. I'm still testing it, so 15, 0, minus 1, 2, info, dot value equals time left, time left, or right, here let's add a colon so it looks better, like that, time left, and then dot dot i, and then await. And then after that wait happens, down here we're going to say info.value equals round over. There you go. Let's test it. Oh, I forgot to um, you know, duplicate the, um, actually take us to the map. Let's wait. There you go. It's right there. And we should be getting a sword. A sword. I'll add that much. <clears throat> Just a sword. Go to models. Linked. Sword. Right there. Then we're going to add this into weapons. Right there. And then inside the main script. Inside the main script. Um. We're going to come here to um, maps, right enter maps dot green map clone. We're going to add weapons dot linked sword clone. Actually, since it has something to do with the other part of teleporting to the players, we're going to do that in the next episode. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.